Hello everyone, this is Dr. Ananya. Welcome to my channel. In today's video, I'll be talking about the differences between 2D echo test and MRI test of the heart. Before beginning the video, I would like you to subscribe to my channel if you haven't, so that I can share all the valuable and useful information with you. As you know, your heart is one of the most important organs of the body. Essentially, a pump, a heart is made up of muscles and has four chambers. And I'm pretty sure you must have learned in school what is the function of the heart. Your heart basically circulates the blood all over the body. In recent times, there has been a huge spike in number of heart diseases or cardiac diseases. In everyday life, there is a large number of patients present in the emergency department with a chief complaint of chest pain. Sometimes it becomes difficult for the doctors to interpret. So to avoid all the chaos faced by the doctors and all the difficulties faced by the patients, it is advised to get your heart health checkup regularly. Depending on the condition and signs and symptoms and severity of the cases, your doctor might ask you to get different tests done. Your doctor might ask you to get 2D echo test or your doctor might ask you to get MRI test. So first of all, let us know what are they. Let's talk about 2D echo test. 2D echo test or you can say two-dimensional echocardiography is an imaging method. It uses sound waves to create live images of your heart. The images that are created are known as echocardiogram. It tells you about the structure of the heart. In easy words or in layman's language, we can say it is the ultrasound of the heart. Next question, how can you prepare yourself for this test? This test is very simple. So you need not prepare anything, but it is advisable for you to wear something comfortable or if you're going to the hospital for the checkup, your hospital might provide a gun for you. Unlike other tests, you can continue all the food and medications on time and you need not fast. Next question, how is it done? As I told you, this test is very simple. It is just like an ultrasound. You would need to lie down on the bed or the table. Your doctor might apply some gel on your chest and the same gel will be applied to the transducer or the probe. While the test, you might feel slight pressure on your chest. This test usually takes 30 minutes to 40 minutes. Next question, how long does it take to get the results? While doing the test, the doctors can look into the results in the same time, but it takes one day or two to get the results. Next question. Are there any risks of the test? Absolutely no. This test is very safe. We use this test in unborn babies to detect any heart defects. So this test is very easy and results are pretty quick. You can say it is kind of screening test. Now let's go to MRI. I'm pretty sure you would have heard this term a lot of times in your life. But do you know what is MRI? MRI stands for Magnetic Resonance Imaging. It uses magnets and radio waves to create images of inside of your body without any incision. The best thing about MRI is that it can take images of the soft tissues as well. As I told you, MRI can be done of any part of your body, but a cardiac MRI is done for your heart and the surroundings. So why is MRI done? Or why your doctor may ask for an MRI? Your doctor may ask for an MRI if he notices any risk of heart attack or heart failure. It can also be used to diagnose some severe conditions such as congenital heart diseases, inflammation of the membrane around the heart, or pericarditis. Now, how can you prepare yourself for MRI? Okay, so for this test for MRI, you need little preparation. Your doctor might ask you to stop eating for a few hours before the test, but it differs in all the cases. Also for this test, I would want you to tell your doctor everything about your medical history, especially if you have any pacemaker or any metal inside your body, such as some screws or some plates. Remember, this thing is very important because MRI uses magnets. So if there is any metal in your body, including some jewelry, such as nose pain, rings or earrings, or you have a necklace or something which has metal, I would want you to remove everything. You can wear anything when you go for an MRI, because once you go for MRI, you will be provided with a set of clothing, which has no metals. Is it painful? No, it's not painful. But sometimes 
To get clear pictures, your doctor might ask you to get an IV contrast. It is done by injecting a medically used dye. So now, how is MRI performed? So before telling how it is performed, let me talk something about the machine. Like other tests like x-ray or echocardiography, these tests are pretty easy and pretty quick. And the machines used in these tests are very simple. But when it comes to MRI, the experience isn't that great for the patients. A lot of patients are scared to look into the machine as it looks intimidating. But don't worry, this test again is simple. So for this test, you will be provided with a bench and you need to lie down on the bench. Now this bench will glide down into the deep tube. Sometimes you might be provided with a pillow to give you the support. A lot of hospitals provide you the headphones or the earplugs. Now you might be wondering why do we provide headphones? Do we need to listen to some music? Yes, sometimes some hospitals, they don't want their patient to feel bad during the test. So usually they put the headphone and they put some music to distract the patient. Because while doing the test, you might hear some sounds of the machine. The sounds are created when the images are taken. Also, your doctor would want you to remain still during the test. Sometimes a lot of patients are scared to go into the machine. But don't worry, it's totally safe. Because you can hear the technician or you can hear to your doctor. Your doctor will also ask you to hold your breath or breathe rapidly during the test. This test usually takes 40 minutes to 1 hour. You can get a primary report of this test in a day or two, but for a comprehensive report, you might need to wait for a week. Now coming to the point, see, both the tests, the cardiac MRI and the echo test, both the tests are done for diagnosing some heart diseases. But echo test is a simpler test and MRI test is only done when you have some risk. Because echo tests provide you some 2D images, nowadays echo tests can also provide some 3D images. But MRI provides images from each and every angle, including some soft tissues as well. So it depends on the conditions and the doctor which test might work for you. Before ending the video, I would like to tell you something important. It is necessary to get tested from a reliable and reputed lab. A link to the reputed and reliable lab will be provided to you in the description box. That's all for today's video. If you have any questions or suggestions, please feel free to comment below. Stay safe and stay healthy.